Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is this really sexy vampire look inspired by the Vampire Diaries because I'm obsessed with that show so yeah if you want to see how I achieved it just keep watching. So the first thing I did was apply a pale foundation um, and I just buffed this in all over my skin. I'm quite pale so I just used a normal foundation but to give it an even paler look I added in some really light concealer and I just applied that all over my face on top of the foundation and blended that out and this just gave a real flawless look. So then I moved on to the eyes and I primed my eyes using the Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Primer from Essence. I love this primer. So I used my finger then to blend that all. So then I went in with a nude eyeshadow. This one's from the Makeup Gallery. I applied this all over the eyelid to set that primer in place. So then I went in with my face powder. This one's just from Penny. Next I took Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and I ran this into my crease as our transition colour. Because we're going to be using such dark colours on the eyes, we want it to really blend out. Into my sleek Bad Gal palette or Bad Girl palette and I used the matte black shade and I just pressed this all over my eye. I did get a bit of fallout but I cleaned that up so just be mindful of that if you're using the same palette. So I brought that right up to my crease and just really, really packed it on. I went in with a clean blending brush and just buffed out any harsh edges. I did lose some of the intensity but I go back in and I pack on some more of that black later on. Then I took Alchemy from the Vice 3 palette by Urban Decay which is just a gorgeous purpley pink and I applied this all over my crease and under the black on my lower lash line. Wherever I applied the black I went over top with the Alchemy colour kind of like outside the black if you know what I mean, kind of like a border and I just feel like this gives a really really nice look. I then went in with my concealer and I concealed underneath my eye. I then went in with my Krylon um, Burned Skin Wheel and I took the maroon shade that's in the palette and I just blended that underneath my eyes. I applied it using a cotton pad and then I blended it out with my fingers and this just gave a real bruised kind of effect which I loved. I then took the black colour from the same palette and I began applying like little veins under my eyes so yeah just to create that vampire look I added in the veins with the black just really really light handed I then went in with MAC Diva lipstick any dark red lipstick would be perfect and I just went in between wherever I placed the black veins and added the red ones just because I thought this added a bit more dimension. I then took my Inglot gel eyeliner and just applied some liner to my upper lash line because I am going to be wearing false lashes and I wanted to hide the band. I'm not winging it out or anything, I'm just applying a thin layer of liner. I also apply this into my waterline. I'm applying the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara to my upper and lower lashes. Like I said, I'm going to be wearing falsies, but I wanted my lashes to blend well with the false ones. In with Inglot's Gel Eyeliner and applied this as my lip liner. I wanted a really, really dark kind of ombre lip, so I thought this would be perfect. So I applied that all around my lips and then I also kind of blended it on the outer corners in with Max Inter Instigator Lipstick which is a really really dark purple lipstick and I applied this all over my lips and blended it in with the black and I love this lipstick. It is gorgeous. A little bit of Max Diva and just went over top with that just to give a little bit of a more red tint. And there you have the finished look. You can leave it like this, but I decided that I wanted to add some fake blood, so that's what I did. Um, yeah, you could definitely wear it just like this, but like I said, I wanted a bit more gore, so I decided some fake blood would be perfect. 
and I used a stipple brush, a stipple sponge, and just stippled that all over my mouth and my chin and down the sides of my mouth and all over my lips, just to make it look like I was after feeding on some unknowing poor soul. And there you have the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I am uploading Halloween tutorials every Thursday until Halloween. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.